Okay, so in this video, I'm just going to show you my release candidate free version of my 2016 soft modern tool. Um, quite a lot has changed again from the RC2. Um, the soft modern procedure is now even simpler. Um, I do a lot of the back, the a lot of the work which Unleash X would normally do in the background using my EEPROM backer upper tool, and I'll show you that shortly. Um, I've also added a couple. I've also changed a few of the menus. The skin's now different. I um, updated the skin to use only a couple of textures instead of one big one. Um, the file size is a lot smaller, and also it looks a lot clearer on the screen. And you'll see that as well. Also updated the config files to support 480p. So if your dashboard is set to that, you'll get a, a cleaner looking image. Um, also, in the NK Patcher side of things, uh, the settings, sorry, NK Patcher settings side of things, I've added, I've changed a few of the menus in there. Um, you can now exit NK Patcher settings without having to restart the Xbox. Um, you can now go into the dashboard settings and without having to restart the Xbox. You can now back up the EEPROM without ex having to restart the Xbox to a separate menu and also I allow the Unleash X settings menu in there um, and I'll show you that shortly. So here we have Splinter Cell, this is what I'm going to use like always and this is just a my test box which is a version 1.6 xbox so as you see as well as <coughs> this also this exploit also works in 480p um, if you use a bit from Media, ba Media BIOS, the M8 one to be specific, it would crash at the load checkpoint section if 480p was enabled. But I now use NK Patcher to do everything. The soft mod and the disable virtual C drives and stuff like that. There's no need for a bit from Media BIOS anymore. So here you can see this is the new menu. Um, on the right there's some more information and uh, it's organized better and it just looks clearer, cleaner. Um, like I was saying, there's the only textures on this screen as that one there, the A select B back and the Xbox and the Xbox soft one tool, everything else. Well in the background image is a one by one pixel image. So it takes up like a killer bite a, a couple of bytes. Um, it just reduces the file size a lot, so now the soft mod's under 6 megabytes, whereas pr prior to this it was just over 6 megabytes, or 6.5. So the procedure's the same. You press A twice, and you let it do its thing. The difference now is, is usually the Xbox would restart, and you'd be presented with a press A to finish. That's no longer needed, as you'll see shortly. Hopefully after this release candidate version, that's it done. Um, I haven't found any bugs. Um, it just works. So maybe some features might be added. Um, other than that, the soft mod, soft mod side of things is nailed down. It's done. Um, you can't get any easier. The only thing I could do is make it where there's no prompts, but then where's the fun in that? You know, you wouldn't know what you're doing. So here it's telling you where your EEPROM backup will be placed, and me just being a smart me bugger and just saying it was told you it was going to be painless and stuff and. Now the Xbox will go to a black screen, the LED will turn orange and then it will restart our power cycle. Now you eject the disc 
<clears throat> or splinter cell load back up again. And I'll focus properly. And that's you into your dashboard. With the Shadow C petition enabled and your EEPROM backup placed in here. So the next thing I'll quickly show you is, like I was saying, the NK patcher settings. Um, don't worry about these two things, these you won't have them. I just use these for mounting uh, an ISO so that I can test the disk other than burning disks because I've went through about 50 odd. So NK patcher settings. <coughs> Same as all the other menus, it's got the new G GUI, the new images and stuff like that. You may also note that here, where it says installer info, that varies on depending on the media. So the default dashboard will say soft mod version. If you're using the disk, it will say uh, extra di extras disk info. And if you're using the installer or you're in NK patcher settings, it will say installer info. So just so you know where you are. Though you should already know where you are. Right, one of the main features of the release candidate 2 was I now install the kernel fonts for you. And um, that's still present when you upgrade the soft mod or you update your soft mod or you install it from scratch. I will back, I will apply the appropriate kernel fonts for your system. And um, also the icon at the top right here, as you can see up here is now new that means enabled or selected it used to be enabled down here but that looked tacky so like i was saying i install the appropriate kernel font for you this stops users selecting the wrong one this stops users having issues with the xbox this just fixes everything and it should have been done with this since the beginning it's well obviously not the beginning of soft mods because i didn't do that at that time but you know what i mean um Another feature, like I was saying, is you can now back up the EEPROM without having to restart the Xbox or load a different menu. That's your EEPROM backed up. The same principle with Virtual EEPROM. Um, the Backup, Restore and Move menu will take you into a different menu. The LED on the front of the Xbox will turn green. To let you know that the Shadow C partitions been protected, it's enabled again, and this allows you to go in and back up your dashboard, restore it, move it, or revert it to a clean install. Um, another thing I done in this menu was added indicator to show you what's been backed up and what you can restore. <coughs> um, I'll just restore it. Why not? Didn't mean to hit that, but. You can move your dashboard to C dashboard, E dashboard, E da C dash, E dash. The reason is it's these set four is mainly because they're in folders. And my soft mod supports 10 different dashboard locations, but four of them are in folders. The rest are for older soft mods that used E evox dash or E xbmc dot dash or C evox dash. Um, I didn't want to put your dashboard in there because then it just looks tacky. Um, I like a nice clean E partition or a nice clean C partition and this allows you to do that. So by default the dashboard is installed to C dashboard. As you can see at the top right that indicates that. If you go into another menu you can still see that it's already installed there so there's, you don't need to move it there. Um, but for instance we'll move it to Move it to E dash. So now, as you can see, the C dashboard icon has disappeared. But if we go down to there, it now tells you that that one's the now selected dashboard. Now, obviously, this only works if you use this menu. If you manually change your dashboard, these menus won't be updated to show those changes. 
so just letting you know so we'll move it back to <coughs> the dashboard now if you select an option that doesn't have one so as you can see the C dash isn't installed you'll get an error to state that um, so you don't need to worry about moving stuff that isn't there because I do checks first now restoring your dashboard same thing you can restore to C dashboard or E dashboard I might add C dash and E dash but I might just leave it as that now you select pack 10k patch or settings the LED will turn red to indicate that the shadow C partition is disabled and you'll be back here and this is a set the unleash X setting so you can go in and change the screen calibration or well you shouldn't need to do that if you set it on the other dashboard but you can go in and change your network settings for instance um, or whatever the hell you want um, another thing XNK patch setting like I said you can now do that by without having to restart the Xbox when you select that the LED will turn orange and you'll be back where you first started excuse me and that's everything um, obviously there's a lot more in the back end and stuff you know you've just seen the <laughs> which changed but it caused a hell of a lot of problems doing the um, applying the shadow sea partition and filling it with the dashboard and stuff yeah um, it was actually quite simple to do but I'd put the dashboard in the wrong order and it was no working properly but anyway as you can see this is RC free um, this will probably be out in a few days um, maybe the end of the week or halfway through next week if I don't add anything else um, the extra disc, the extras disc will also have all this. Um, if you update, you can up. If you're using my 2014 soft mod, you can use the disc to update to the 2016 soft mod. Um, it had a me <coughs> excuse me, it has a menu for that, or an option, I should say. Sorry. Um, also, if you're running the 2016 soft mod, you can upgrade, update that as well to this version, or you can upgrade any other soft mod to this. Um, and just like installing it from scratch, I'll back up your EEPROM and I'll apply the appropriate fonts when it's finished doing the update or the upgrade. That way you've got a clean backup and you can put that on your computer and keep it safe. Because your EEPROM backup for Xbox is... You have to do it. <coughs> so anyway, uh, is there anything else? Uh, the only other thing is a uh, skin side of things is or the dashboard side of things for Unleash X is, is I disable the caching of files on boot um, it's just a setting you add to um, the menu uh, in the XML file but what that does is allows Unleash X to boot up super fast and then when you select a menu it will then check for stuff instead of just booting straight in, instead of just doing that but it speeds up the boot procedure because um, that was driving me bloody mad having to restart and wait like 10 seconds for it to load yeah <coughs> if you're wondering these aren't actual games um, this is a stock hard drive um, these are just the XBE files of the games um, so I could work out that for scrolling um, so anyway that's the 2016 soft mod and tool RC3 not released yet when it is released it will be a it will be in the description uh, a download link that will take you to my dropbox where you can get the files um, but currently it's set for maybe the end of this week or you know Sunday maybe before unless I add something or break something then mid next week so anyway thanks for watching